We've got Brutal Lunar L4. Now let's get turbo. So today for our Beyblade show, this is our second video on Beyblade Burst Turbo. This is Brutal Lunar L4 13 Jolt. This is part of the new series Beyblade Burst Turbo. This happens after Evolution. This is a really awesome evolution of Lunar. We had uh, Lost Lunar, then after Nightmare Lunar, and now we have Brutal Lunar. So this is still owned by Louie, if you're wondering. This is the evolution of the bay. Comes with a new launcher and a new gimmick. So before there's Switch Strike with his abilities, now there's Slingshock, where the performance tip gains a sort of ability where it's in its battle ring mode, which is the normal mode, and then after the Slingshock mode, where it's a lot more aggressive. So when we show the back right here, you can see Lunar L4. This is the left attack type bay. Energy layer is Brutal Lunar. Then after we've got our disc, which is D53, which is 13. Then after TA16-S, which is Jolt. And let me tell you that Jolt has four in speed and two in power. And something else to mention, we already did a video covering Wonder Valtrek V4. So if you want to see a video on that, make sure to check it out on our channel. So another thing to mention is that uh, these bays lose the metal that was originally on the Taco Rotomi products because since the bays are a lot more aggressive and they're fitting to the gimmick of this stadium, uh, they're adapted to this new system and the stadium, which we also did a review of the stadium in the same video. But let's take a look about, uh, let's take a look at this bay. Oh, and by the way, by the way, cause I, cause I, cause I know we're going to get comments. There is a QR code in this video and it is Lunar L4. So. Here we have the Turbo Bay. Let us open it. Show off the instructions too. So basically, this is going to explain its uh, sling shock gimmick. So opening this, going through it. So just go over this really quickly. This right here is the basic stuff going over the stadium. And the really cool thing about this Turbo stuff now, it's a lot more strategic. Like you really have to think about how you're going to launch the bay, what direction you're going to launch the bay. The point system is still the same for how it works. So basically you twist, you pull, and then after you twist again. So uh, a little explanation for it. I think this is a really cool system. There's a few changes to the performance tip from what it originally was, but I'm interested to see how it's going to work. So there is a new compact green launcher which I think is pretty nice. It says Beyblade on it. A little hard to see, it says Beyblade on it. I think it's nice. Actually, it's a sturdy grip for it when you're holding it, even for me, since I'm a little bit older than what the targeting group is, but it gives a nice grip for it. There's left and right. Obviously, for this video, we're gonna have it in left. And yes, actually, I should have my other green uh, launcher, but yeah, you can build this into a little mini grip. So I'm using uh, the one from Valtrex. So you can have something cool like this which actually kind of works out. And I think I like the design because now it's a little more comfy when you're putting in the ripcord and everything. And then after you have something like this, if you want to combine the two, which I think is nice. So it was actually a really smart decision by Hasbro. So. Now that everyone was waiting for, yes, we will show the QR code for Lunar L4. Next video. <laughs> no, just kidding, this video. There you go. Pause it, scan it. That's uh, that's it, yeah, all right. Really nice looking layer. And if you were wondering, if you maybe didn't see the previous video, level chips are compatible. Level chips are basically just sort of like a little trophy, I guess, for the bay in a sense. And sometimes it varies, because when we were testing it before, originally sometimes it helps the bay a little bit tighter, holding a little bit in, but it's just mostly aesthetically pleasing. So, yellow with yellow, that looks nice. So we've got our 13 disc, 13. Now, I didn't go over the disc in the last video, but I figured just to cover it a little bit more, since I know a lot of people are gonna be new to this or maybe did not want to see uh, Chozetsu and see how the bays look like, but has a lot of blades on it. It looks like very aggressive. And since this has no metal on it, 
This reminds me a bit of, what's that bait? It's gonna be Dragoon with its recoil. I just pop out the level chip. Level chip three did pop out on this. Let's cover Jolt now. So Jolt is kind of weird because it still keeps the same shape, kind of, but like, it's really just flat. So it's kind of weird that it has the shape there. I mean, I think the gimmick should still, I don't know if the gimmick should still work. So we're supposed to, I guess, pull this out and turn it. I just have to see it. So it's this part to grip. So I'm gonna try to do this because this is a little, this is new to me. So actually, the, uh, it's kind of weird because it is flat and I just noticed this. It still has a little bit of those edges on it. So I just realized you're not pulling this down. Look, this actually extends to be taller. And I failed to mention this in the Valtorek video, but these bays get taller than the original in this mode, which look at, look at how much of a monster it is when you extend it. So look, you have this. This is so wacky and cool which I think is really awesome. So to quickly go over the evolution, you have Lunar L2, Lunar L3, and then after Brutal Lunar. So what we're gonna be doing now, I'm gonna do a test launch, and this was in Slingshock mode previously. Right now it's in Battle Ring mode. Basically anything, from what I can tell, anything that's super tall is basically gonna be Slingshock mode, and anything that's a little shorter is Battle Ring mode. So what I'm gonna do, I think this is a pretty good angle in the stadium. I might push it back a bit, and I'll push it back a little bit in. So I'm gonna be doing test launch, battles, you name it. So let's try it. It's my dual threat. Actually, nah, it's a video doing the unboxing of it. I have to be fair. And by the way, there's good spacing in between. So if you wanna have your own mini grip, it works. So let's try it out in battle ring mode. I'm gonna give you my best launch. Three, two, one, let it whip. So pretty aggressive, pretty aggressive. Let's try it in its slingshot mode. It should be just like this. Yeah, now it's locked in. Yeah, these modes are a little bit hard to get used to, but I should be able to do it. And by the way, if you want me to point out any differences, because I don't think I said it yet, the only big difference is that the core in the middle is not transparent and there's just missing those electricity stickers on it. But that's... Dragons are plastic, yeah. yeah, the dragons are plastic. If you thought they were metal, they're not. It's the balancing that they're doing now. Oh, of course, of course. So here is the Chozetsu Lair, Takarotomi. Give it a sec. That looks like 20 grams. Same as before, is it gonna be really? It's, it's just half. They're just halved in weight. Yeah. Okay. 10, 11, 20, 20. So I figured to answer that before we go on to our Slingshock uh, test launch. So it's not that bad with the gimmick that they're going with anyways. Because actually, and uh, I didn't see the responses yet because we didn't launch the video when we're recording this. But this is the balance that they're doing because they're trying to just work it with the stadium. And I'm fine with that. As long as the, as long as like the core of the base still there. Now, obviously, just like uh, with Xeno Excalius, we're gonna probably get a variation later on where it's the proper stickers and whatever. So just do a test launch with this. So let me get my dual threat ready. Three, two, one, let it rip. It's a lot taller. It's a lot taller and actually, what we'll do now is I'll launch my Valtryak and then I'll launch my Lunar. So we'll do a battle and we'll both have them in sing, uh, slingshot mode. So as you can see, I have my Valtryak right here. Let's get it up. No, let's get it up. Now that should work. All right. So no level chips or anything like that. There's no augmented bays. This is uh, how they legitimately are. So let's get ready. What are you doing, Lunar? No! Lunar, what are you doing, buddy? Hey! Tied. Tied. 
Yeah, so it's weird. They like they basically revert back to the other mode after uh, they battle. I think it's supposed to be that they start off very aggressive, then after they go into the other mode. Yeah, in a separate yeah yeah in a separate video we'll do that. So let's do a second round. Let me try to get it right this time. Try to launch as quick as I can. Oh, Lunar, come on, buddy. All right. Well, now what we're going to do, I do have some bays here. So let us do Lunar versus Lunar. And I guess I have this in slingshot mode. So. What, lose? Yeah, that weight's going to be a little crazy. Let's put this in the... Uh... So locking in is not really an issue because once it gets there, it's still there. So put in battle ring mode. Let's try that. Yeah, so when they go around in the stadium, if they get trapped in, that's good for the other base. Oh, it's... Are you losing? No, no, no. Let's try it again. Finished. There we go. So, Brutal Lunar. Let's see if it lives up to the name. So, we'll do Nightmare Lunar. Then after, we'll do the actual Takaritami version. So, we'll grab Nightmare Lunar. You see, it gets trapped in the corner. So, it basically weakens the bay. That's really okay. I'm learning this as we go. That's cool. All right. Ah, uh, you see? We'll do one more round. We'll do one more round. I actually got a few clicks on that. Okay. No, I'm getting some hits. Oh, no. That full circle just hurts you. All right, all right. Now, the original Takaratomi version. This one's gonna go wild in the stadium. Yeah, all right, that was a little test launch. Just wanted to see, that's crazy. Yo, that's crazy. Both bays are still aggressive in the base stadium. Okay. Let me stop it. So, wow. So the thing is, and I know a lot of people might try to do this, some of them Possibly, but for most of them, it's gonna be very hard to mod them because this one for an example You can't you can't remove this part. This part's just molded on there So if you really want maybe some are you can mod some you can't but what I think personally I, I don't really think these bays really require mods I do think the gimmick that they're going out for these bays is really good like I have no issues with it It does take some time to get used to this different meta I think the bays work for what they're going with and to end it off, I'm gonna end it off nice, right? I'm going to find an evolution bay, some random bay, some random bay. Let's go with a bay that has a good reputation on this channel. It's called Balkis B3. Let's try a small match. All right, Brutal Lunar. Ha! I'm not gonna win, I'm attack. But if I were to give a rating for this bay, I think eight. That's fair. There are only a few minor things, and I don't care about the metal. Like, my only issue is just um, with a few minor things uh, on the lair, but they're probably gonna correct it for future releases. That's how they usually do it. What they're going with right now, I like it, but of course, if you disagree with me, 
Let me know in the comment section below. I always, re I always try to read the comment section. I try to hear the thoughts and everything. And we already did a video on the game plan of this, right? Yeah, so we are okay. So we showed off the QR code. So by the way, check out Cypress. Shout out to him. He should be doing a video around the same time as this. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah. yeah, for the QR code. So if you're wondering, yes, Fornius, we're also showing we're showing the QR codes for everything. And we'll do a full video after if you want to see it. Well, yeah, we're still gonna do a full video. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and thank you, Hasbro, for an awesome turbo experience. <laughs>